So if you didn't know, now you know. We at my favorite place, the Goodwill. I love shopping and budgeting. And I probably shop and budget too much. <laughs> <laughs> but check this picture out. Look, a woman of real estate. I love artwork and look how much I paid for it. $16. Look, I got over. They didn't get over. I got over. This is an absolutely beautiful piece of art. It's going to so go in my house or in one of our properties. Store in the whole wide world. <laughs> yes, I am a Goodwill queen. And I mean that on both sides. Goodwill that I love to give goodwill to the people and goodwill that I love to save some money and shop at the Goodwill store. And I did a great job today. Um, I got two chairs, wicker chairs. You can see them back there with all the other junk I got. I got two wicker chairs for a mere $12 each, $24 total, $24 total. And then I got that beautiful big picture as you can see back there um, that I showed you. I got that booger for um, $16. Come on now, <laughs> look. Goodwill shopping and decorating for your rental properties or for your home or for staging or whatever, that's a winning combination. Cause look, I spent a total of what? About $42 and I got some great quality stuff, quality merchandise. That's all that matters. Talk to you soon on my way to my next stop. Normally, if you don't get it on a baked potato, we do have a six inch hoagie we toasted on the grill, but we ran out of fries. I do still have hoagies, so I can just do a sandwich for you as well. Mm, this sounds delicious. Yeah. I already sold out on fries. So as you know, we are foodies by heart, by trade, by love, and we try to find the best places to eat in every destination we arrive. And this food truck park is in the middle of a city, which is Afton, Missouri, and they have different food trucks every day that come out to this nice venue to serve the community. You get your foods from the food trucks and you can sit out in the park. You can play games. You can watch typically which are sports games on this big screen TV. Sometimes they have movie night as well. It's called Mile Garden Inn. And so you can go into the facility here, which serves all the drinks and they have a dog bowl out there. So you can bring your pet too if you like Fido being around you. But the inside is for people that don't want to be outside and just want to intake the drinks that are in here. They have a variety of different drinks from beers to wines to soft drinks. And as you can see, we got drinks. You said it's good? Mm -hmm. I mean, that don't kind of taste like a pickle. Well, I know it is a pickle, but. I like pickle. Do I not like pickle? Yeah. I love pickle. And this is my bowl. It's a lamb salad. And to be honest with you, I love lamb, but that salad was just okay. Someone there, she was like, she was like, y'all dad was good. I was like, I know. Oh, she, she said that? Yeah. Oh, okay, bet. She said you was the only one that was good. He was. Because he was crying on. You wasn't like that. You was like 40. He was up there. I don't know, sir. Yeah, you'd be scared about it. So as you can see, this place is a great time for families to come out any time of the day. Obviously, it's nighttime now, so it didn't cool it off a little bit. But they have activities for everybody to enjoy. And that's me enjoying myself doing some kind of dance. So today is a very special day. We have a closing, which is always exciting. This is one of our rental properties that we've had for about three years. And the tenant moved down, so we decided to flip it and sell it. We ran into a few issues with the property, so we decided to sell it as is. On a first investment property. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Say hi, Em. Hi. <laughs> I feathered my hair a little too much, so it kind of just poofs out a little bit more. Uh, oh, you're, you're good. good. Yeah. 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 You are Hello. beautiful. What's going on? What's going on? We're up. vets. We are. They're rookies. Okay. Teaching them so they can know and grow and one day become wealthy. The boys have always been involved in our real estate business. We no, wanted to give them a first-hand look of what it takes <laughs> to close on a property. You had to close on your first investment property. Amazing. Uh, how's it been closing on your first investment property? Uh, we'll get more. 
<laughs> All right. So the closing is complete and from the seller side it typically takes about anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and we are just waiting for the buyers to close and when they close you get the check yeah next day vibes we're out looking for a vehicle for my oldest son both my sons were involved in a car accident in the company vehicle and we have to get another one so we're looking for something that he wants to drive and we're just waiting for the insurance adjuster to take care of the, of the responsibility am i what you want to ride jose you hopping in yeah i'm gonna you want to ride mom gonna be out here dad gonna be in with you yeah. And that's the baby of the crew. He graduates from college in December. We promise we'll get him a vehicle as well. So we're test driving a Dodge Durango and in our business, it helps to have bigger vehicles so that we can store different products and things that we take to investment properties. I know your daddy. <laughs> daddy said he got a car. You scared? <laughs> Did you hear this motor on? Did you hear that motor? <laughs> Um, hey, he told, he told, what engine is this? What's, it, what's, what's under the hood? <laughs> this is nice. I think that this is too much for these because they just. Jaw foot got a little heavy. Did you no, did you hear that engine? It's the same engine. No, I did it. I tapped on it and it just got like that. Bro, we should have put it in. Oh, it's already in. This is a nice vehicle. It's fully loaded with everything that you need to do business and to look good in. And you are under 25, Jesus. So what y'all think about both of them? I'll take that right now. Whoa. <laughs> Start it up. So it's been a great week we decided to go out to get something to eat and have some drinks and discuss all the business that took place throughout the week. Family business is the best business. Not on my watch. Not with my exposure. God, you messed around and let me see the system. Now I got responsibility in it. Now I got skin in the game. Now I have a mandate from heaven to not just sit back and be a spectator while a system sets up my family for failure. Stay true, oh, oh, oh. stay true. Oh.